Take the cylinder block which was assembled in stage 20 and remove the throttle body from it. If you've not already done so, tap a 2.3mm thread in the two small holes that you can see here and here on the underside of a cylinder block using a tap or a spare 2.3mm screw. Now take the breather cover from stage 42 and you'll notice you've got two holes on the side of a cylinder block and two projections. Place that, align those and place that and push that down into position. Now, take the cylinder block and the crankcase, noticing the orientation and placing the cylinder block onto the crankcase like so. Once you've done that, turn the assembly over and place two 2.3 by 8mm silver screws through the bottom of the holes that we've just tapped. Next, take the oil pan assembly from a previous stage and just place that over the top, noticing that the cabling comes through this section here where there's a recess to allow the cabling. Okay, once you've done that, screw that down with the screws provided. Take the seat rail from stage 44 and also take the rectifier with the three protrusions in each corner, one, two and three, and line them up as shown and push those down into position. Take the rear subframe and remove the control unit cover and then place the seat rail onto the subframe like so and that will fall down into position aligning up one, two, three holes on one side and the other three on the other. Once they are aligned, take 2.3 by 6 millimeter which are the silver self-tapping screws from stage 39 and screw those into the six aligned holes, three on each side. Next, take the connector socket and you'll notice that you have two protrusions on the side. Take the connect socket, line those up and press that down into position.